Nope. We'll do it live! Hello, welcome to another Valley Forged, where of course if you like lasers, diode, or CO2, you're in the right place. I absolutely love working with lasers and it's been such a fun journey. You know, working on your higher end 150 watt lasers, well, for consumers anyways, all the way down to the 5.5 watt diodes. I've learned so much and I, I can't wait to bring out more of that, which I have been since this channel started only a couple of months ago. So it's growing really fast and things are really coming together. You know, I have limited space here. And that's why I didn't go with the 150 watt CO2, which I will next year when I move to a bigger place. So I've been just making videos about the smaller lasers. And of course I have the Ortur Laser Master 3, which is down again, by the way, power supply this time, uh, which goes right into what I'm about to talk about. I made a video called Diode versus CO2 Lasers Before You Buy. And it already has almost 3,000 views for a small channel. That's pretty good. And in that video, it came up with an interesting plan. So I'm going to let you listen to me, and then we'll get back into this. And into what is called the K40. And a great way to go is probably like this um, monoport here. It is 40 watts, and it runs light burn. Now, I'm going to re not recommend any laser that doesn't run light burn. Because if you're going to get into lasers, you might as well learn it. The advantages of being able to use, use light burn really are a game changer when it comes to making laser stuff. And also just being able to get files from anywhere and do what you want to do with them. Just figure it's like the Adobe Illustrator for lasers. Because here we have something for about the same price as the 10 watt diode laser that if you're that will do acrylic <laughs> that will cut a decent size wood but the problem is is that it only has an 8 by 12 bed so if you're cutting any you want to cut anything over an 8 by 12 then this isn't going to work for you that you really have to think about what you're going to use it for of why if you're just doing coasters and keychains and you want to do acrylic it would really seem like the monoport or just a, a K40, that's known as the 40 watt laser like this, is called the K40. And it would just make more sense. It's probably going to have a, a better overall use case for you. You can do more things. Now, the fact is, is that for l less than the price of a 60 watt CO2 laser, you could have one of these and have one of these. <laughs> So this is also a thought, you know, you've already, maybe you've already got a diode laser, but you want to cut acrylic and you want to do some things like that. You know, buying a K40 might actually be a better deal that you have both lasers and they're both going to fit into a reasonably small area. And that's where we're going to get into when we talk about the next level, which would be the 60 watt CO2 laser. Right. So here I am talking about that for less than the price of a 60 watt, you can have the 40 watt and say like an or two or laser master three or even a 20 watt X tool. So, <laughs> you know, it, there is a lot of things to think about, but at that point, Monport reached out to me. I kept calling him Monoport. <laughs> Monport reached out to me and said, hey, why don't you try it? And so I was like, of course, I just said that I wanted to do that. And, you know, they made it easy for me. So I was like, of course, I'm not really into testing out just a bunch of lasers that, you know, a bunch of companies asked me for. But if I mention it and I'm like, hey, I think this is a good idea. And they say, hey, we do, too. I'll probably go for it because uh, I want to be completely transparent on this uh, channel. And as I said in that video, I don't even want to touch it if it doesn't have light burn. And, you know, your typical 40 watt that you get off of eBay is not going to have light burn compatibility. There are so many upgrades that is made into this mod port, which is why is the one I showed to you, because, you know, there, it just... I've always stayed away from the K40 because, you know, when you get it straight from, well, 
I think they're all coming straight from China. I mean, a lot of people think that Omtech does quality control on them when they come into the country. That is not true. There's just, uh, you know, a lot of cheap parts, a lot of problems. And uh, when I looked at this, I said, oh, it's got light burn compatibility right into it. Uh, it's got the safety switch on the on the ledge there so that you don't burn your eye out. I mean, I'm not as <laughs> I'm not usually as scared of that, but because uh, mine mine is outside, but a lot of people are very afraid. Hey, you might as well have that safety, especially if you have kids around. Uh, it has a laser dot pointer built into it which I was just looking <laughs> to do that on my Laser Master 3. I'm going to be putting one of those on there. So it's already got that. It's got a drag chain because you know I'm running Air Assist. So uh, where is that hose going to go? Uh, cable management is always something I'm thinking about. So I was going to put a drag chain on anyway. High end, it has a higher end tube, which is great because that literally makes it better. So it's going to cut better than your straight one from, uh, you know, just your generic. Now, a lot of people are worried about paying for light burn. So you can get this one directly with light burn, uh, with the, uh, uh, with the light burn code. So you're just done. Listen, if you're going to get into this, just get the freaking light burn and learn it. I, I told you that before. And I, that's why I wouldn't even mess with the cheaper ones. But if you don't care about light burn, then go ahead and just get the, you know, maybe you're into DIY too. And, and maybe the cheaper one's a good way for you. But I'm not going to recommend anything but this because I think the more you get into lasers and you're going to love them, I freaking love lasers. Um, you're going to want to use light burn and you're going to want a good tube. Now, as far as the chiller goes, I'm going to get into that in future videos. There are so many videos about little tips and tricks and upgrades and different things about this laser in particular and CO2 lasers in general that I'm going to get into. There's so many ways to do things and make things better. But what I really wanted to look into with this laser right off the bat is can I take it out of the box set it up and use it. Not buying an extra chiller or anything like that. Yes, Lightburn, because that's why I would buy this one. Um, but what happened, they sent it to me right away. I got so excited. I went over the box, grabbed it out of the box, lifted it, turned, and ow, my back went out. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's like, you shouldn't get excited. I'm like, it's fun to get excited. Every once in a while it goes, keeping it real goes wrong or something, right? But uh, that that took me out for a couple of days. So now I'm just getting back into it. Got a heating pad on my back right now. Uh, <laughs> I had to laugh. I mean, it really hurt, but you know, I had to laugh. It's been a while since I made a dumb mistake like that. But uh, I am now pretty much better. I had her help me take it out. Um, we're getting it all set up right now. So that'll be the next thing. I'll take you over there. I'm going to see. I have yet. I do not know. I do not know. And, and I'm going to be completely upfront with you guys when I do it. I'm going to show it to you. Can I just take everything out of the box the way that it came and make it work with light burn and, you know, the fan work and the water system work. Yeah, I'm going to do a lot of upgrades on that. But I don't care because I want you to know that if you're going to use the basic model, the way that it comes, that everything's going to work. Likely. I mean, mine could be different than yours. You never know. They could be differences. But I watched the Louisiana Hobby Guy because he does uh, dr directly on Monport. And I'm going to leave that in the description as well. Uh, you can watch his video on how to set this up, except for he has the their chiller. OK, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to assume you're buying it without the CW 3000 or the 5200, which costs the same amount as the machine. Uh, I'm guessing you're probably not going to put the C5200 with the uh, with the K with the 40 K40. I mean, here let's let's look at the machine, the water chillers here. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna pay $529 for a $529 laser just to cool it off. I mean, eventually you might thinking, oh, I'm going to be upgrading the laser anyway, and I'm gonna need this chiller, but we're gonna go right out of the box and assume that you're buying. The $530 light burn supported 
a 40 watt laser or at least the one that has the uh, light burn with it. So I know I'm going over a bunch of basic stuff in this episode. It's just because I'm going to be doing so many videos on it. I wanted to just kind of get this first, not an unboxing, because come on, you can just watch other channels for that. Uh, unboxing and setup right on the Monoport site. Um, but how does it work right out of the box? What do you got to do to set it up to just get it working? So let's do that. Well, I know the light's not very good in here, so you may have trouble seeing everything, but it's really clean. Everything is clean. I love to have it, that it has a drag chain and a laser and this motherboard. I've seen it before, you know, in other people's videos, but that controller, this is, this is really cool. All blue. Everything looks really nice. I'm, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Now, will it fire up on the first go? That is kind of the most important, but we've got a long ways to go before I get to that, so. Okay, we're live outside with the machine here. So what did I notice so far? Uh, well, okay, I put the ducting on, which was so easy. I've had trouble doing this with some other machines. This went on perfectly, got right on. Now, I am going to upgrade this fan but I wanted you to see if it actually worked the way it came out of the box. Uh, the water pump. I am going to be doing, I, again, I'm going to be upgrading this. Doing, actually, I'm going to keep the same thing. But there are some upgrades I did to it. And I'm going to show that to you in a video. I want to make sure that water is clean. So I used a five-gallon bucket. I don't think that, you know, spending a ton of money on your water system for a less expensive laser might be the best idea. So I decided to go with the five gallon bucket. Now I have less than five gallons in here right now because I have I am going to be doing something different with it. But this will work to see to make sure that everything is working. So that's looking good. Wow, we are getting close, my friends. We are getting close. Now, as uh, everything in here is supposed to be uh, hot glued together to make sure that all the mirrors are aligned and everything's going okay. I see a lot of hot glue everywhere. Does that mean that it worked? Well, I guess we're going to find out, but I do see a lot of hot glue everywhere. So let's uh, check the manual one last time, and then I'm going to crank it on and make sure that the water is working okay so the water is pumping through looks just fine I see a little bubble there and I see a little bit of bubbles there now what I've heard you could do is just tip the machine just a little bit get those bubbles out which I will do and that looks pretty good so I'm getting ready to go on to the next step after I do that I'm gonna let it run for a little bit let the bubbles flow through and uh, yeah We'll see you on the other side. Water pump working. We got water going through. I'm pretty happy with that. Now they say you should tech, test the emergency stop. So I'm going to turn this sucker on. Bam! It's on. Stop. Okay, it stopped. Turned it back on. Ooh. Fan is, fan is working. Blowing some cold air out there. Now, of course, that isn't the way I'm going to run it. I've got a, a fan and, it's, you know, I'm outside, but uh, I don't want that thing blowing at me. But I'm checking to make sure the thing's working. Come on. Looking pretty good. Got our emergency stop. That feels really satisfying. Anyways, got the red dot laser. It's looking good there. Mm. Shall I do one of those testy thingies? Now it shows current output of zero milliamps. I'm not seeing anything displaying there. So what am I doing wrong? Okay, I am going to do a test firing. I just want to see, is it working? Bam, I can see it's already working. Look at that, I can hold it down. And let's lift this up. All right, definitely it worked. The little laser is just a little bit off. So I'm gonna to have to adjust that. But pretty darn close, considering where it's come from. Very interesting. I guess now I get to set it up with light burn. 
All right, let's see if this thing connects. Uh, I have no idea. Just going to say, find my laser. I, it doesn't. Now, maybe I did something incorrect there. Uh, let me try this again. Okay, so I had to manually set this up. It's pretty easy. You just hit create manual, manually, and it'll, you just hit Gerbil. There, 300 by 200, and then insert whatever you want uh, to call it. And put rear left, and you're done. So there we have it. Hit OK. There we go. I just started doing some stuff. I literally just did a bunch of random stuff. Oh, yeah, it came out, but come on, that should be like, actually, maybe all of these should have came out, but the circles are circles. That is a good thing to know. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very impressed. It's just these two displays temperature displays, which are important. Uh, so I do want to get that going. Everything else worked great. So I will be making so many videos about this. I don't want to get all crazy into it right now. So this is the basics. It works great other than that. And uh, uh, it's a winner. But uh, that's going to be so much fun to do so many different things with. So I do have a discount code for this laser. Uh, it's called Valley 6, I believe. And maybe it's for all monoport lasers. I don't even know. But if you use it, let me know so I'm sure that it works or whatever. But great laser so far. Lots more I'm going to be covering, though. So we'll see how it goes. So see you in the next one. We'll do it live!